Well, imagine having a super-powered Wi-Fi pen testing tool this size. Well, that's exactly what we got here. This is the ESP32 C3 Super Mini. And we will be installing the Coast ESP firmware in here. And that's what we're going to test out in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so it's really, really easy. The flashing of the firmware. All you have to do is to attach a USB-C cable on your ESP32 C3 and plug it into your PC. Now go to flasher.spookytools.com and here you will have a choice of what board that you have. So right now we do have the ESP32 C3. Let's select that and select your custom board. So we what we have is an ESP32 C3 generic and simply click flash. When you click flash, if you have attached your ESP32 board, you will see this and let's click connect. Okay, so, and now we just have to wait. And now that it is finished, we will try it out. Okay, so let's start. I have here a power bank and my phone after flashing the firmware. Okay, so let's just connect a USB-C here. And power it by a, a power bank. Nothing fancy here. As you can see, it is now... Oh, not running. Okay. It is now running with that LED light. Okay. So let's open up the phone. Okay. And let's try to connect to the access point that is being shown here. Okay. So, and that would be GhostNet. Okay. GhostNet. Okay, so when you are connecting with the GhostNet, it the password would be the same as the access point name, which is GhostNet also. And let's open up a browser. On the browser, it would be ghost esp.local. Okay, and the username and password would still be GhostNet. And let's just click sign in. And it will bring you to the web UI of this um, ESP32. And there are a lot of things here. Some are experimental, still doesn't work. Like, for example, this e-build portal setting. But the th one thing that we can do here is let's go to help. And here you can see the different types of command, like on the ESP32 Marauder. And what we can do is let's do an attack a beacon spam okay so that would be beacon spam dash r so random beacon spam and okay beacon spam dash r and what we're gonna do is since we're connected to the um wi-fi of this um what well, it will disconnect okay so okay so we're still connected there Let's enter beacon spam B con spam space dash R. Okay, and let's click send. Okay, so as you can see here, it has disconnected, but there are different types of random beacon or random access point that is being spammed right now by this one. So that's one of the Wi-Fi attacks that it can do. So the next one that we'll be doing is we'll be trying it out using a serial port on a computer. Okay, so let's start using it on a PC. So again, let's attach it on a USB cable. And let's go to spookytools.com. I'm not sure if you can see it here. Okay, now, under tools and etc. or miscellaneous, there will be a serial console. Okay, under serial console, let's plug this in. Make sure that it is lighting on, it's on. 
and we can do a simple scan AP for okay so let's click connect first connect paired connect okay so now that it is connected let's do a simple scan AP now for all of you who are familiar with ESP32 Marauder this is the first step in Wi-Fi pen testing so let's click enter and see if it will work as you can see right now Wi-Fi started ready to scan and in a few moments there will be the list of the SSID and that's how you can run the ESP32 on a PC and that's the incredible ESP32 Super Mini I mean just look how small this is and yet when paired with the Ghost ESP32 firmware, it transforms into a very powerful Wi-Fi pen testing tool that you can carry around with you. Just goes to show you that size doesn't equal capability. And yeah, Ghost ESP just makes this a true powerhouse when it comes to Wi-Fi pen testing. And if you enjoy this video, please check out my other videos on Hakista TV. Always remember, Keep on hacking my fellow Hakista.